Hello everyone, this is my Happy Natural Time tutorial based off the plushy phone straps from the series. I've broken it up into two parts and in this first video I'll show you how to make Rilla Kuma and also the colors that were used to make Korilla Kuma. So let's begin! So first you're just going to start with some brown clay. Tear off a small piece and roll it into a ball and this is going to be for Rilla Kuma's head. Flatten it down slightly and this is what it looks like. And then take a smaller ball of the same color clay and roll it between your thumb and forefinger to make a teardrop shape, like this. And then using a knife just cut off the point and press it onto the head, like this. Now using a needle tool just secure it and smooth it onto the head. And then just using a silicone tool I'm smoothing out any of the rough lines. And this is what it looks like. Now take two small balls of the same color clay and also take a small ball of dark brown clay. This is going to be for the arms and legs and roll them all into logs. For the arms, cut the logs at an extreme angle. This will make them sit close to the body and will make it easier to add the cape later. And then just place them on the body and smooth them down using your needle tool. And do the same to both sides. And the arms are flat against the body as you can see. Now for the legs, just cut off the end portions of the logs and then cut off the tips as well, as you'll be replacing them with the tips from the dark brown piece of clay. Just match them up like this, and then roll them between your fingers to secure them together. And add them both onto the bottom of the body and secure them on with your needle tool. And this is what he looks like. And then take a small ball of brown clay, and then using some TLS, you can just attach this to the back of the Rilakkuma for his tail. And just press it down. For Rilakkuma's belly and snout, just take some white clay. Make two small balls of this clay, one slightly bigger than the other, and flatten them out. Place the little snout on the face and the belly part on the body. And then just press them down to fix them on. And now I'm just making the dotted seams that are on his face. So a line going from the snout down the chin. And then two lines going up at an angle from the snout to the top of the head. And then taking an eye screw, I'm just gonna screw that into the top of the head. I'm using gold findings for these to mimic the plushies. And this is what he looks like. And now we're just gonna make the eyes. So I'm taking a larger needle tool and making two dots on the face. And then I'm going to take a small ball tool and make those dots a bit wider. Like this. And then just bake this for five minutes. And this is what it looks like. So then just remove the eye screw. And take some yellowish brown clay. And roll it into a log. Then taking a roller, just flatten this log out. And this is going to be for the hood. So just make it about this thickness. So place this on the top of the head and wrap it around the sides. To make the hood that comes underneath the chin, take your knife and cut it like this, in a triangular sort of shape. Then using your needle tool, just push that down against the chin and smooth it out with your finger and do the same for the other side. Bring that across and then cut it off where it meets. And then blend those two pieces of clay together underneath the chin. So connect the two pieces of clay at the back of the head into a point and cut off the excess from the bottom of the hood, like this. And then using your needle tool, just push it all down. You'll cut off the excess from this as well so that you can make it nice and neat. Then where the clay meets from the top to the back of the head, just cut the excess right off, like this. And then smooth the sides together. I find using my finger works best for this as it's warm and it warms up the clay and allows it to blend a lot better but you can also use your needle tool. 
and so that's what it looks like. Then you can just take your blade and clean up the edges of the hood. And smooth it out using the silicone tool or your finger. Now for the cape part of the hood, take a smaller ball of clay and roll it out into a log. And then flatten it down. And here I'm just marking it with my needle tool before cutting it. And this might take some trial and error because you want to get it to be the correct length to wrap around the Rilakkuma. And once you have your piece, just start from the front and fix it down with your needle tool. And then wrap it all the way around. And make it join up. And you can press it down and just use your needle tool to connect them. And then you can use your needle tool to smooth the edges between the hood and the cape. And just go over with the silicone tool as well to smooth it out. Then take your needle and find the hole that you made with your eye screw and put the eye screw back in. And this is what he looks like. So now we're just going to make the tail for the deer hood. So just flatten out an oval of clay and then fold it in half. And then cut off the folded corner you've made like this. And place this onto the back of the cape. And use your needle tool to smooth it down, like this. Now for the ears, take a small ball of clay and roll it between your fingers so that you can make it conical on both sides. And then flatten it down. Cut it down the middle, and these are your ears. Then take a smaller ball of dark yellow or golden clay and make the same shape. Flatten it down. Cut it in half as well. And place one of each of those pieces on the ears you already made. Like this. And then just place them on the head and fix them down using your needle tool. And this is what he looks like. And so next we're just going to take some peach clay for the bow, roll it into a thin snake and flatten it down slightly. Then cut off two small angled pieces and one slightly longer piece. Take the longer piece and fold the two ends so that they meet in the middle and this will be your bow. Use some TLS on the chin to stick these pieces down. So start with the two short pieces. And then you can use some more TLS and add the bow on top. And this is what he looks like. Then we can make the facial features using some black clay. So first take a tiny bowl for the nose. And using some TLS just fix this on the snout. Then take two more small bowls of black clay. And these will be for the eyes. And just place them in the holes that you made earlier. And if you like, you can just tap them down to flatten them against the face. Then taking a very thin snake of clay, cut off a very small piece and use it for one side of the mouth. Just connect it to the nose on the snout. And make another piece the same length and attach it to the other side. If you make it slightly upturned at the side, it will make him look like he's smiling. And now the clay part for your Rilakkuma is done. So you can go ahead and bake this for the recommended time on your packet. So just take a fluffy paintbrush and some pink chalk pastel and dust on the cheeks. As long as you're glazing your charm, you can do this before or after baking. And for the dots, I'm using a golden beige color paint and a ball tool. So just randomly cover the hood in dots. If you have a ball tool with a bigger and a smaller end, use the bigger end first and then fill in the spaces with the smaller dots. And then when it's dry, you can paint the other side. Just basically do the same thing. And you can also use a toothpick to do smaller dots. And now your Rilakkuma is all done and ready for glaze. So I'm using Holloway House Quick Shine, which is a floor polish. And I learned about this glaze from a video from Lilac Sprinkles, which I'll link in the description. So just gently dab it onto the whole charm. And when it's dried, your Rilakkuma is all done.
So these are the colors that I use for the Coralacuma, using the same procedure as the Rilakuma. So I used a cream clay for her body and a hot chocolate colored light brown clay for her hood. And then peach clay for her ears, the same color as the bow. And I'm just going to show you how I made the berries. So using a needle tool, make a line down the center of a piece of green clay. And then using two different shades of red, just make tiny little balls and fix them all together on the leaf, like this. And this is what it looks like. And you can just stick it next to the ear like this. And this is what it looks like when it's all baked. So I'm going to make the dots on her using a cream paint. So I make the dots on her the same way as with Rilakkuma, just random dots all over the hood. And then when it's dry, you can glaze her. Once again, I'm using the Holloway House Quick Shine Floor Polish. And this is what she looks like when she's done. And this is what they look like as a set. If you do make your own critters from this set using this tutorial, please share them with me on Instagram by using the tag at the little mew. If you just wanted to buy one, I do have them for sale on my Etsy store which I'll link below. Thank you so much for watching and do check out part 2 of this video which is how to make Kiratori.